Philip Aitman from the interview down here in Yarraville with Daniel Parsons-Jones, who's the food donor coordinator for Food Bank Victoria. Daniel, Food Bank, we're standing in this massive warehouse. What's going on here? Well, here we are Victoria's oldest and largest food relief organisation. Mm -hmm. uh, we basically collect food from across the food industry, from individuals right back to the farm, from the supermarkets and the manufacturers mm -hmm. and the DCs, everywhere. And then we distribute it out to the charity sector. Right. I heard some amazing figures of like 710,000 Australians a month are being helped by Food Bank nationally. 26% of those are under 19. And apparently there's 4 million Australians experiencing food insecurity. Yeah, every year, every year, 4 million Australians will experience food insecurity. And that's not necessarily all the time. It's mm -hmm. not people who are day to day going without meals, but throughout the year will experience some level of food insecurity. Yeah. And what volume of food produce are we seeing come through these doors? Through, through these doors here, mm -hmm. uh, upwards of the 10 million kilo, 9 million kilo mark. Um, so in, in terms of the, the number of meals that we're, we're producing, it's somewhere around the 17, 000, uh, 17 million meal mark per year, just wow. coming through these doors here in Victoria. But there's a, there, there's a food bank in every state and territory in Australia. We all work as part of a national network. Mm -hmm. And uh, those, those kind of numbers are replicated across the country. Wow. And so where are you getting all your food from? Well, we get it from everywhere. We get it from, uh, from, from the re retailers, mm -hmm. uh, from the manufacturers, from the farms, from the fresh produce markets. Mm -hmm. um, we get it even down to individuals who feel like donating, they maybe have a pantry full that they can't get rid of. Yeah. So from you know, the hundreds of pallets mm -hmm. down to the box of cans. We, we need a law, uh, yeah. we appreciate a law, and uh, we, we try and get across the entire food industry. So is there a size limitation? I mean, if I rock up with a can of beans, or do you need like somebody to say, here's a, a, a like at what point do people make the decision that, okay, this food is if good you, for food bank yeah. and not good for retail? If you rock up with a can of beans, we'll be very thankful. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but we're, we're working all the time to get further and further back in, down mm -hmm. the supply chain. So before it hits the supermarket, mm -hmm. before it hits, um, say, the distribution center for the supermarket or when, when it's there, yeah. to make sure that whenever there's food that might not be fit for sale, yeah. but it's still fit for purpose, mm -hmm. then we can, we can bring it in. And so for people out there with restaurants and food cooperatives and Mark Farmers, Mark Farmers and things like that, mm -hmm. um, what are you looking for from them? Like what areas have you not tapped that you see there's potential growth? And when I say growth, I mean that there's mm. potentially more chance for people to recognize that this is a mm. viable way to, I mean, essentially, if it doesn't come here, it's considered a waste product. Is that fair yeah, to say? Absolutely. Our, our only competition is the bin. Mm. Uh, so when we bring in a donation, it's probably going to have landed in landfill mm. instead of coming here. So every, every time we bring it in, it's, it's, we have probably rescued it from what would be landfill. In terms of what we're targeting, mm. we're always targeting fresh, healthy food. Mm -hmm. So uh, healthy food for all, that's absolutely what we're focused on. Yep. So uh, items like rice and pasta... Longer life products like that are great. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a big, big focus on getting fresh fruit and veggies. Mm -hmm. So a lot of what we do is actually fresh fruit and vegetables. I mean, pe people think food bank, they think this kind of warehouse behind us mm. um, and they think canned goods and stuff like that. Yeah. But just behind all those ambient racks, mm -hmm. we've, got, we've got a big old fridge yep. and a big old freezer. So we can accept donations of, of, of children, frozen products, fresh products, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So how can we get specific here? Like how does somebody intercept the waste stream to get the contents to you? Like if I'm sitting here watching this, mm -hmm. how do I know when to pick up the phone and call you? Uh, pick up the phone and call anyway, mm -hmm. if, even if you've got a question. It's, yeah. it's, it's better that you ask us the question than, than you feel afraid to, to ask it because you might think it's a silly question. I would much rather have mm. 10 silly questions than no questions at all. Yeah. Um, but if you've got some kind of position in a food manufacturer or with a farmer, um, if you feel that uh, you might have access to some uh, level of food that would be useful mm -hmm. to the community, uh, then yes, yeah, get get in contact with us. All right, sounds like a really good catch all. Mm. If there was one thing you wanted people in the world to know about Food Bank, what would you tell them? That's tough. First um, thing that comes to mind. First things that come to mind, I mean, my, myself as someone who's food in, uh, I would say the first thing that I want people to know is that we can probably take more types and different types of donations than, than you expect we can. Mm. So it's, it's always a great reminder to, to know where it goes, 
that that that, that food product. So it goes to charities that work with, you know, kitchens or pantries or um, various various types of like say hampers and things like that. So we've got a big variety of charities that we work with. Mm -hmm. So we can probably take a greater variety of donations than most people would expect. Yeah. And if you wanted, if there's one thing you wanted people in the world to know about hunger in Australia, what would you tell them? That it's not a problem. Uh, so, so people they always ask us about, you know, helping the homeless, you know, people who are out on the street, and that's that's you know that's something that we do, and that's that's something that we do help. Mm -hmm. But it's not people who are on the street; it's people who are in your street. It's 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 four million Australians. Mm -hmm. These the, these aren't issues that 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 speak to a very small percentage of our country it is it is across country it is across economic divides it is across social divides it's everywhere and so it might not be you it might not be uh, someone you know is, is, is suffering from food insecurity mm. but probably someone you know has suffered from it mm. this year thank you so much for your work and your time no worries thank you